Hello and welcome everyone to another Let's Play with the Developer Stream. Um, my name is Raycoms and we're here on the Forgecraft server. And I'm currently exploring because I have to find a village bell for our town hall upgrade. Meanwhile, I thought I'm going to take this opportunity to also gather a bunch of other resources we might need. It especially contains wool. One of these special blocks we definitely do need urgently. So let's see there we have the I some icy plains. Maybe we have luck and find a nice village over there. Um today we're using a different resource pack again. Like I said, we are going to be trying out a few different ones. Oh that was not a sheep that was an ice bear. You better not try to shear him or her. That might make them angry. Um, but let's keep running for a little bit and try to find a village. At the moment, it doesn't look a lot like it. And I do think that probably in those biomes or plenty biomes it might be even a little bit more difficult than average to find a village. We should be through this one here quickly, hopefully. Dum -de -dum. Let's go on the, this more normal biome over here. I did forget to do an add stream watchers. Let me do that quickly. I always forget that. Here, the link. So, some add-ins said something. Okay. So, we got another sheep over there. Uh, over here too. I appreciate all of that we can get. Hi Super Minix, how are you doing? Um, and here we have one of these fancy flower biomes apparently. Ow! Sweet berries, I always do the error of running into them. I'm really not used to those yet. Uh, that's a small flower biome. We can see here in the map already where it ends. And it's getting night. Good that there are some other people online that they could sleep. Hi Greg, how are you doing? So, but I'm already getting my sword and my bow out in case we need to defend ourselves. Um, Never f I found a few very big flower biomes already, to be honest. It seems to be to continue there on the lower end of the map if you can if you can see it. We're definitely going to get those sunflowers. Deep deep. We continue wanting to go in this direction of the map. And see, here's our colony. There are different people over in those claims. And it's getting night and no one is sleeping. It had to be this time. Um, did them. Good thing that we have some decent weaponry to defend ourselves. Yeah, especially baby skeletons. Had to be the worst possible enemy. Okay, I can't take this moment to relax. I'm just going to run. Unless I see a city. Just running, running. And hoping to not get killed meanwhile. 
We do have some decent armor. So that, that should keep us mostly safe. Oops. We're also going to have a stream later on. Our regular stream time again. Just playing a little bit on Forgecraft at the moment. Thought uh, I might also just turn on the stream already. I was hoping to find a village a little bit faster than this one here though. It's also night. But I can't see anything that looks remotely like a village on the map. It's 116.1 yet. It's not 116.2 yet. And my colonies is also not fully released on 116.2 yet either. We have some small things that we have to finish. Dum -de -dum. Okay, we got here something more flowery. And a biome that where it's a little bit easier to run. And probably also much out easier to find Ow oh, wrong. Easier to find maybe a village. They still can't see any on the map. Oh yes, thank god someone slept. I can even enjoy getting some of that wool. Wool. I should have checked if we have any saddles at our colony. Because I might have gotten another horsey here. Either way, we continue our quest. Oh, I see there something. That is a village. Positive. And we're going to pray to find the village bell there as well. And I can see there a black sheep. Or was it light? Black wool? Great. No, that was grey wool. Black I got from other one early on. Um, and hopefully they got a bell, because that would be amazing. Um, someone <laughs> just died. I don't need those leaves. This one here seems looted for some reason. It seems looted. Where do I usually find those bells? Is the question then as well. Nothing here looks very belly. We got a stone cutter here, but someone definitely passed by here and dumped some of their stuff inside. So that village was definitely looted. The only chance we have that the village was looted. Hi Dragon Hunter, welcome. The only chance we have is that the village was looted and no one got the bell. But this here seems like the middle of the colony, of the little village. And there's no bell here. Uh -huh. Hmm. Uh huh. No bell. Huh? You? No. So our quest continues. Maybe is there something in this building here? Bread? At least something. I might need some food later on. Um, and then we probably. Just continue our hunt. It's at the fountain. There was a bell. You're telling me the truth. Let me check that out. Am I so blind? Huh? There's no bell here. Oh! <laughs> I am blind. Great. We got the bell. This is good news. It looks very irony. Okay, great. We got a bell. That is amazing. Let's run a little bit further to find some uh, some more wool because that our colony is 
in constant need of. Especially grey wool like this is super nice to have. Thanks for sure, Dragon Hunter. That was my absolute blindness. More wool. I can see some sheep over there too. So we got the, the bell. So mainly we're just running around a little bit. And then we can continue to our colony. Do, do, do. Here. Wool. Some more wool. And over there. More wool. More. More. You're a pig. Oh, and I can see something that looks kinda like a desert. That could be good because we still didn't get any cactus. And that would be kinda a valuable resource to have for more green dye later on. Okay. Let's run into this biome and hopefully we might find some cactus. But maybe we might not either. Okay, I s no. There was there were leaves. Hmm. <laughs> Cactus, where are you? Dum -dum -dum. Maybe a bit more in this direction. Those here are all leaves, right? Yes. So. Oil. That here looks more. Yes, yes. That is now the real desert, then. And there I'm seeing already the cactus. Great. And even better, we I'm seeing a waystone. So we can get ourselves even a desert teleport. Great. Wait, I think I can just call this here desert. Desert. Uh, I think I wrote that wrong. No, desert was right. Because I always confuse if it's desert or dessert. <laughs> I'm never a hundred percent sure how to write it. Um, I think we should be fine now. Maybe we get some more cows for the ladder. Hi Fairy Wolf, how are you doing? Um, the dumb. Tuning in a little bit early today. Um, but that's only a short stream on the Forgecraft server while I'm playing here. Um, I'm going to be on offline. I think we're going to be online for around an hour in total. We're going to have dinner. And then we're going to go to in our mainstream time. We're then going to be online on our Patreon server again later on. So be do. Opening a little bit the map as well. Oh, there's one of those ships. Let's check for some loot on that ship. Mm, we just... A short time before I tuned on the stream, we had some immense bad luck and we lost a builder, Tyler. Poor Tyler. And we also did lose a... Oh, thanks a lot, Archie Official, for the uh, raid. <laughs> Highly appreciated for sure. Welcome everyone. Welcome Spooky Bro, the Catty Cat. Welcome everyone. Glad to have you here. Um. So we seem to have a lot of blocks in here. Blocks. Okay, at least. There should be some chest around here. Just a matter of time until we find it. Oops. Um, or 
a matter of luck. This, ah, there we go, chest found. Oh wow, that is a good, that's some good loot. Um, let me just dump some of our th stuff here. And then we get all these nuggets. Especially those emeralds are going to be super useful. That's some good loot. Maybe over there as well. Nope. But there should be more chests. On a ship that is as intact as this one. There we are. I have to dump more of that stuff very quickly. Before I drown. Get everything out of here. Yes. Oh! That was close. So, thanks again for the raid, Archie Official. <laughs> Highly appreciated. Very nice. Wait, we take... Oh, nice. That door space is just amazing. And get some paper books. And a buried treasure map. So... Should we maybe try to find this treasure here? Wait. I think I gotta get... L yes. So that doesn't seem so far from here. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a bit. if not that this moment when then, right? I think that's like the perfect moment under time pressure to do it right. <laughs> yes, so let's get a boat. Um, and then the map back. Ah! What did I do? Drop it. So I, we have to go east. Oh wow, this is... This was not even worse, worth getting the map for... The, the boat for. We're already here. So, let's... Let's cheat our way out of this here. Um, and we found the treasure chest and a lot more loot that's great so I think I'm going to I want I want this sand okay so let's get I'm a bit bothered by this new mechanic that it doesn't really let you <laughs> yes. I thought it gives a little bit more tension doing it underwater. Makes it a bit a little bit more interesting. Okay, I'm going to teleport home. Uh then we're going to organize our stuff. Let's go home. Oops. Classical teleport problems. Um, we have to go to bed to avoid too many mobs spawning around here. Oh yes, I'm drowned around me. Yes. I could at the same time put this the Mission Impossible soundtrack. Like do 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 when I'm sorting the inventory underwater under attack. Just to make sure everyone gets the tension that is in the air. Poisonous potato, more stew. Um, Gunpowder we also got. So let's put some of that stuff over here. We got also all these letter things. TNT. Art of the Sea. Book. And black wool. And then the sand we can potentially dump all in here. That's the paper we want to keep. The treasure map we can actually dump somewhere. Ciao treasure map. Okay, now wait. Let's do it like we always do. We dump the good stuff all to the nether. There we go. Um, I have not found a trident in Minecraft itself. Good question if I've found ever 
I think I found a trident already on a past server we had. As far as I remember. But that memory might might be foolish as well. Not I think I did though. I think I did. Um de dum all those iron nuggets. Don't we have any yes we do. Gold nuggets also more of this stew over here and the leather armor here we want to put that back in here um the dumb put at least this in here do we have maybe space in the other one for the lapis no okay okay great then some of this other stuff we do not want to be running around with. Um, the stone cutter we want to place here in our base. Then we got all that crap to this chest here. And then we got the little chest here. <laughs> yes, and then we got this chest here. Um, that is all mob drops. Um, the, um, the potatoes, the cactus, more of the mob drops. And I think we are fine for now. We lost our poor builder. That was very unfortunate. Let's check. Everyone is mourning at the moment. But let's check if we have any visitor around here not ah here we got one visitor david i'll take care of it redstone dust i think you're our builder huh? let's just hope i can get that redstone dust quickly enough <laughs> hi chef yes this chef <laughs> yes i need to get one of these inventory stuffy mods that are on the server and use them to organize all our items definitely and urgently as well so where did that visitor go that's a level two one can already upgrade to level three but the visitor is one higher i gotta go up yeah, we do need some stairs up here next. It's kind of annoying to have to walk up here. And where was the visitor? David. There. Inside the town hall. I can help, I guess. Recruit. Yes. And then I hope I can be quick enough to assign him to our builder. Builder, builder, builder. I hope David is going to be our builder. Is that the one that died? Nope. Yet. David was already assigned to different position as our healer. Uh, it was too slow. Let's get the bell here. Um, and then we want to probably give... Let's, some, let's melt some more stone. How ugly that sounds, melting stone. Oh, but let's get some more stone produced. Let's produce some more stone here. Four. There we go. Do we have enough? Nope. So, getting some coal in this one too. Great. Dum de dum. So what did I want? So did you guys, this today no one is commenting anything about this um, resource pack. What do you guys think? Better than yesterday or, or more meh than yesterday? What are the opinions on this? Okay, I'm going to still stay with some. More meh than the other one? 
This one here is a medieval pack, supposedly. Let's get some stairs going directly. It's less noisy, that is for sure, yes. That is for sure. What happened? Let me get some more sprues while we're on it. <laughs> You're a vanilla fan? I'm... I, li I do like to vary a lot. I don't like to use what? vanilla for too long. But then I'm gonna kinda get bored of the vanilla textures. And I want to experiment out a few different ones regularly. Yeah, that you have to get used to how the items look because they look so differently that you're going to be overlooking things at the beginning for a while. Definitely. Um, so, we want a lot of those paper ones. Let's see. 19. Then 14 double crossed. <coughs> To You'll give you a little a bit more. And some stones and ready is the 25. new house. Then we want to go all to double crossed. Fourteen double crossed. What I'm going I to give you, you again more than fourteen. Then we do want left, right, side, and a bunch of those side framed ones as well. And another creeper exploded. We need some of those side framed. And I think none of this side framed. Yes. Let me see if we need some of this. No. Great. <laughs> yes. Always that's that's a that's a true thing. The moment you switch over the Gonna texture pack, over my head. it's usually a little bit confusing. Oops. Wahoo! This looks fantastic! What's next? And then the other side framed. Here. So now we got all of those off our list. Let's give a bunch of those spruce planks. And we want to assign stairs and slabs. So we gave all our. I'm going to give you Gonna a. Put a roof over my head. Stack of logs. Okay. Um, I do need. Let me get some sticks first. Get another sign. Finish the planks. Finish the signs. Give the remaining two signs. Then we want the slabs and stairs. We don't need too many stairs for this build, fortunately. Because we got a bunch for the ceiling later. I'm going to give the remaining ones still. Not so many. Then we want a lot of slabs and fences. So... Don't I have some oak logs, make oak planks, and make a bunch of sticks out of it. Just we got a short lag spike. This is the sign you're looking for, <laughs> exactly. And let me get some water while... While this crafting is going on. Okay. Then we want to get a probably not as many but a bunch. Is that enough? Or do you need yes, that's enough fence. Great. We can give the remaining three ones as well. No, we just need slabs, more logs, and those slate shingles. So let's make a lot of slabs. Not enough? Nope. Almost enough though, almost enough. So let's get some more of these. 
This here should potentially be enough. Yes. So only the stone stairs and the other ones are missing. We're currently getting the stone. So slate, spruce, shingle is then the next thing to get. Spruce and slate. And I don't remember how much it was. But potentially around... Yes. All of it. Great. One more. Hi, tiny, t hi, tinty tots. Now the stone stairs and the spruce logs are the only things that are missing. And sleeping, obviously. It's night again. Uh, we lost a builder today, unfortunately. And we also lost our healer and both to a baby enderman, unfortunately. And I'm seeing that, I think it's that <sighs> enderman again. I'm going to hunt it down before it gets stupid ideas again. Is that on the other side? No, it's not. I think we have to get up the mountain for that. So, we do want... I did want to play some stairs. Let's already take this opportunity here. And work our way up. And I do see that the Enderman kind of vanished. I do want to probably do it like this. To get to a decent height. Then make a nice platform here. And then continue going up like this and probably going a bit straight here and do we want to move all of this one over yes let's do this move all of this one over and we can come up here more nicely Let's mine this here away. It's going to be a bit easier then as well. Yes, yeah, sorry. I'm still in the process. But let's... Yeah, let's stop getting sidetracked and let's get this darn Enderman found first. It seems to be gun. Okay. It seems to be gone. It seems to be safe now. So we can actually continue on our stairs here. So. Because we do want then to have kind of a wall here. Where we go up as well. Um, my shovel. Get rid of this here again. I'm going to be replanting a lot of those trees later. Um, like this. So today we did release a bunch of updates. And that gets us really close to being feature complete for our first version, I would say. This looks great. We get up here to the guard tower. And we go up here to this area. And we want to kind of finish off this here. And another knight died. Very unfortunate as well. So. We do need more citizens. And then having a knight die is exactly the opposite of what we want. Are you hearing that, knights? So, we got some half a half stair there. Let's dump a bunch of this stuff we picked. Wait, there's this enderman. Again, up there. And I'm seeing a different enderman there. Teleporting around in the back. Mr. Nasty.
Where is Mr. Nasty? Where is this nasty? Okay, we got an ender pearl for it. Nice. And the other nasties are over there. And they seem to be up on our hill. Let's get them quickly. There are two nasties of them. Two. Oish. You kill one of my citizens, I get mad. Where are they? Underground? You're telling me? You come to the surface and you're going to get your beating. I tell you. So we want this here also upgraded. Okay, there I can see him again. They're just teleporting away all the time. Are they down in our tunnel here? That's pretty exactly where our tunnel is. No. Another knight died of an arrow. Come on, knights. Come on. We don't have time for this. Come on, what tell me. Shall I Books. Today? That's expensive that we can't afford. So let's drop off our stuff as we had said. Um, those hemp seeds we can potentially put over here. Okay. Yeah, because Minecraft is not so good in death tracking, unfortunately. Stone stairs. Let's get those. We should, yeah, we have enough stone by now to wait. We got a stone cutter now. And we can get stone stairs. Much cheaper. Much better. Okay. No, that isn't... I tried out the bettered. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. It was... The spruce textures were horrible. So all our roofs really looked bad. So I decided against it. Uh, this here is the medieval resource pack. Spruce log, not oak. I want the spruce. We got a lot of... Let me see if we got some spruce in our warehouse too. Level 2 warehouse. Do we have any spruce? 44, that's not so bad. And this one here I do like as well. What do I have to say? I think I enjoyed photorealism. Um, John Smiths. Can you link me that potentially? I can check that out after the stream. Um, ah, let's bring the remaining oak logs, of, uh, spruce logs over here. And all the remaining 27 here should be brought then by the delivery man. So John, people like the John Smith's texture pack, so I guess I do have to try it. And the photorealism ones are really scary as well, I have to say. Talking about this wall, we're going to have to make three thick later on. 
I'm going to have to expand that later. Here, here. And then we have to add the differences. One, two, one, two. That was right, right, yes. One, two. Oh, that is unfortunate. We have to move all of this by one. Okay, meh. At least we can use vein oh wow this vein mind this vein mind way more than i expected well this escalated quickly oops so and then we want to get over here Then like this. I think I'm not really happy with this. But let's us let us first go sleep quickly again. Um so that not more of those nasty. Just talking about nasty, and the big nasties are going to come in from southeast. Great, thanks a lot. I'm going to be checking that out after the stream. Ouch. So quite right the perfect moment we arrived here, our citizens got to sleep and it is southeast, Dar's darn raiders are going to come in. So, south, east. I can see them on the map. So I hope I'm going to be able to snipe them all before they get too close to our colony. Wait, I'm out of arrows. Ooh, don't do that. <sighs> Oops. Ow, that hurt. Ooh. Don't do that. Oops. I'll be back. I'll be back. Oops. That one stopped. Oh. oh wow. Stop it. That that was really really close. I guess <laughs> that we saved our bats just a little bit. Stop it! That one stung a little. Oops. Don't do that. Okay. Ouch. And the other one. Okay. 
That's some fancy chainmail texture, I agree. <laughs> okay, we made it. And we didn't lose anyone. That is good. We almost died, I think, around five times. But we made it. Though I have to, I have to agree. This, this time, that was there was a lot of lag, lag involved. There was a lot of lag involved in me not dying. Um, I think that I can't... Ah, yes, good thing I got my parkour straight. <laughs> Else that would have been very different. And how's the work going? Um, hopefully I'm going to get some serious visitors soon to assign to our jobs. Um, let's go back to our wall then. And we try to get our stuff done. You can see here a guard underground. Is that you? No guard assigned here. So, let us see our university. Do we have two guys working on here? No. Do we have any ongoing research at the moment? Nope. Let's get some bone meal and we get our composter going as well. That is something we're going to be needing in the future. We had recruitment pass, um, packages in the town hall before visitors. Do, do, do. And I do want... What was it? Bone meal. Bone meal. So... Wait, I do have a bunch of bone blocks somewhere. This here should give us enough bone meal. And we do have another one here left at least. Yes. Great. We can go there and do the research quickly. And hi Erevan as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The resource makes it look a little bit weird. <laughs> the Templars against the Barbarians. Um, here, research successfully started. And we go back to our wall. Let's see if Lessi was any place here. And ah, that was Lettuce. Great. Leslie. Mm -hmm. And we do want probably to close this off here a little bit better um, and mine this away and our axe is gun so we have to be careful now wait there should be um, a crafting table around here the university has a crafting table now nope I think we don't. So let me get a crafting table and get another... <laughs> Pickaxe. So... Uh, maybe... Maybe um, we are all not a very good Christian colony and the Templars are here to um, get our colony flattened and then get us some religion enforced onto us, voluntarily enforced. Just for our own good and of course such that we give their church money here and then we go over here more cobble Finishing off here, 
And then we want to go around there, wasn't it? So we can go then over here. One, two, one, two, fail. Over here we can then go. What grinds my gears is when the block placement tries to play with me. Yeah, I'm being safe to not resist, exactly. It's... It's I'm being killed such that I can end up in heaven. I think that was the general idea. So now it gets a little bit more complex. Because we do have maybe to go upwards. Let's get us a path here through this. I do have a lot of... No, that's a shovel. Yeah, kind of that's... The atrocities committed for religion is always a little bit very, or let's say, very inconsistent. Um, we do want to go straight here. We gotta get more of those trees sorted. Yeah. It's always... <laughs> yeah. Um, does, does any one of you guys watch um, videos of CGP Grey? There is this video of CGP Grey about the keys, like the keys to a country, and it's kind of about what you have to control, to control a country, and it that gets very into this direction of, like you have to be able to control the people emotionally and have to be able to control the people from different aspects. And then different so so that that is definitely way too low, and this here is definitely way too straight um so that is kind of disappointing. Let me get this tree here gun, let's finish this lower section here. I, that's like one of the things I doesn't make me lose one of these channels that doesn't make me lose faith in YouTube in the internet is like that people like CGB Grey can make smart videos and post them. Um, maybe we could just and now And now, what we're going? How we're we going to bridge this here? Because I'm kind of reluctant to going upwards. How does the map map look? So we should go like straight here and pass this lake and continue there. So we good. So let's get some more of these trees on the way cut down. So that we can kind of see a little bit more clear how the terrain around here is. Um. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> yeah, she, he has just a, a set of amazing videos. I do laugh. I do love how he has actually pointed out how um, how screwed the electoral college colleges for like eight years at least. He has been complaining about the electoral college, and then only like after the recent election four years ago, people actually started complaining. He was like. Do you remember that I made a video about the electoral college and how uh, how much it sucks? Uh, hmm. How are we going to bridge this area here? I know that here is going to be a relatively big church for the library. I'm pretty sure that is going to connect to this here. Wait, wait, wait. Getting those endermen out of the way. Okay, so this area we're going to need. I think there's nothing we can do besides just moving upwards with our wall like relatively far upwards probably more like in two in steps of two Still, wait, are we out? No, we got some cobblestone left. Great. Hmm. I'm, I always have the difficulty of making those walls go up nicely. I do like them when they're just straight. The only thing we could do, maybe, that still looks decent. It's just to go up straight away. Like, all at once. Like this. I think this looks much better. Yeah. Probably we should do that at the corner directly here um, let me place some dirt in this corner here then we go straight away straight up here already and like this that's probably the best way and maybe make here yes that's a good idea we make here kind of a guard tower out of this, but like a, a natural guard tower. Wait, down here. Um, the gym. I think that is probably the best way to do this. And then we continue going over here. And I'm going to get some more cobblestone. Yeah, and then we put letters in the in the wall in that guard tower to be like when you walk on the on the wall, you can then go up to the next segment over there. That was my plan. And we can check again if we have new visitors now. I can't see one up there. Let's see one what that one wants. A lectern. Just gotta find the stairs upwards. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> this guy is kidding me, right? Ah, oh, wait, here. No, not yet.
Mildred? Please put me to work. Please put me to work. Yes, my lord. Yeah, for 14 honey comes, I'm not going to put you to work, my dear. That's a bit expensive. Is there any other visitor here? Let's hope that our builder got employed now. Nope. So, are we here on manual? Yes. That's obviously why no one was assigned so far. It's because that builder had was on manual employment and that would obviously not work. So, dumping some of the, our things here again. And then we can check on the other builder that is currently working on the on the town hall up there 39 percent that finally gives us the chance to teleport to other colonies if they are set up as allies so that's going to be nice so did you a flower pot flower poach perch Always, how do I pronounce this word? Flower, poach, porch. I'm really bad at that one. <laughs> As you might be hearing me mispronouncing this on the worst impossible level. Ouch, pouch, flower pouch, a bag of flowers. <laughs> That's the safe one. Pouch. Okay. A flower pouch. Great. Got it. I was always unsure. Like, there was. I've played literally. I didn't play so many games in my life. I've been playing games for a long period of time, mispronouncing this badly. As badly as I just did. And we do want this all to go one lower, probably here. And we're out. Now one spruce lock makes one crafting table. Putting a crafting table somewhere, kind of hidden mid-air underground. So, getting the shovel. I'm making here a little bit of space. Like three wide should be fine. Yeah, English pronunciation. I have to say, I don't think that learning English is so difficult, but the pronunciation sometimes is very difficult to grasp. Um. <laughs> then the lions. That one I got now. Then the lion. That one. That one I got now. And then the lion. That. That's because this word comes from. Then the lion. Then the leon. So that's why it's pronounced this way. It's not things always make sense why they are pronounced in in a certain way. The thing is that how you deduct this automatically that's the difficult part of it. <laughs> um de dum and we go back to our wall. Deep, deep, deep. Here. Got a zombie here coming. Ciao, ciao. And thanks a lot for the cheering, for the bit cheering. Pawf pawfulness. <laughs> thanks a lot. It's highly appreciated. 
um, all donations due to this channel are shared brotherly among the contributors to the project. Um, yes, that is the 115 version. 115 and 116, there is a research at the university that allows you to do that. So the question is now, do you want to go around this mountain or do you want to include this mountain? Now, including the mountain has the advantage that it's probably going to be easier to defend. So how extend is this mountain? I probably we want to go around it and take this mountain in in our colony. I think for sure. <laughs> yeah, those are some really classical examples. <clears throat> Um, but I think yes, I think learning in a different language, but especially living in a different country, I believe that every person should stay a certain amount of time of their lives in a different country that has a su sufficiently different culture, let's say it like this. Like a like living in Canada or for an American or living in Austria for a German wouldn't count, but in a country with a sufficiently different um, culture is in general extremely eye opening. And s probably one of the most educative experiences there are. Um, so we're still going straight there. Want to cut this one here? That's not kind of. <laughs> the examples, yeah. I love. Th there was this this meme around that when you take like one word and then you exchange how certain vowels are pronounced in different words and pronounce them in that word differently, you change the word entirely to a completely different thing. I don't remember where that was, but it was with the... It was with, with trout and through, as far as I remember. Like trout to fish. Yeah, d it definitely was English. Then we want to get probably two over instead of doing this here. Let's just go two over. Two over out. And then I think here we can go just maybe two over again. <laughs> um. But but in general, all languages have this. If we like, if we once for once analyze how many different languages, how many parts of languages come from Greek and Latin in general. Like even in a German language, the amount of French words we have because of the Napoleon time is, is really big as well. We have a lot of French word in the German language. 
we say restaurant as well and friseur, the fun, which are all French origin. Um, and from here, we want to go all the way over there. <laughs> um, and I'm out of cobblestone again. Yes, I am. So we want to go here. Let's already take out some of those trees again. To not make it so confusing. We want to get over here. Gotta get rid of this one. Am I out? Yes. Gotta get those done. Go over here. And then we can go mostly just straight in this direction. And then there's another mountain. Um, I just have to find, I'm around here. Um, straight from here. So there's another mountain here. But I think we can just go straight in this direction. So wait, where did we come from? From here, from the south. No, that's north. So we, we, we're going straight from there. And we want to go like straight over here. Going up and down, up and down to meet the other wall at this place. So that other wall is going to continue there. Unless, of course, we just continue going alongside here. We also include this mountain in our outer wall section. Although I rather not, I rather not. I rather not. Um, so we do want to get kind of straight and go alongside here and cut by this mountain. It's going to be kind of an ugly wall section again. But at least we're kind of moving on. So. I think our town hall there... <laughs> I don't want to wall in that mountain because it's going to be difficult to build anything on it and it's a potential place where um, barbarians can Please spawn. Put me to work. Baked potatoes? Not so good. Not worth the baked potatoes at least. Let's see how the town hall is coming along. That must be almost finished. Yes, 78%. Only missing decoration and the additional steps now. Great. Um, the, um, we can again dump a lot of this not so useful stuff. Um, that's mob drop as well. Here, rotten flesh. Um, the dam. And get then some cobblestone out again and go there. Uh, let's sleep first. It's almost night. It's not even worth moving out at the moment. Let's see if we can sleep now. Yes. Do do do. And we go there and continue our walling project. 
We probably do want some more inner walls. So I'm thinking of making a wall alongside this section here as well. Over there to this direction. And wall it an other time off there. Like make a wall around this section here too. Like this here is the outer outer wall. And that's going to be then more like a little bit more inner. So let's at least plan finish planning that out. That I want to do at least. And then we can go like I said straight over here. And then we can basically go straight here. I want to get this tree done. All in the way of the Great Wall of Sleepy Woodsburg. Um, journey map so we've started we have here all the way around our colony have the miner here the wall continues continues over here and it goes around here we have a little bit additional wall sections around here around the town hall and citizen huts here Maybe we want more additional wall sections around this citizen hut block and about this block with the warehouse as well. Um, wait, I took a bit too much with me, but there's another axe here, that's great. So we need to cut through this terrain here. Yay, the level th uh, 3 town hall is finished. Um, okay. We're out of food again. Now it's Sleepy Woodburg. Sleepy Woodsburg. Sleepy Woodsburg is the name. And we kind of go alongside here. We have to go up again. Which I don't like, but we have to. And then we have to go... We can mostly stay probably around the same level. Yay! Hopefully, he's going to become a builder. So, and then we can probably go just straight in this direction here. Like some general outline planning. And here. Continue with this wall around here. Okay, like this. And the first time both walls kind of meet. Um, yes, so we're getting some progress done here. Let's go over here. So our colony is getting along very nicely as we can see here. But the town hall level 3 finished. Looks very medievalish now. Um, got here our citizen huts. Got some wall sections. So it is definitely coming along without our little mess here. Make a nice screenshot of this. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode right now. I'm going to be off for a little bit to have some dinner and then in just around one hour we're going to be off um, on, we're going to be on again with our regular stream on the Patreon server. So there's going to be a quick break and we're going to be online back online in just around an hour. So I'm going to leave this here on AFK and I'm going to be back in an hour. So thanks everyone for tuning in already. I hope I'm going to meet you in a little bit. Um, thanks for engaging in the chat as always and see you in a bit. Ciao, ciao.